Several centuries of soot obscures the impact these enormous, colourfully lit spaces once had on the medieval eye. Today, through an ambitious restoration campaign, conservators at Chard, 50 miles southwest of Paris, are discovering just how far medieval builders went to evoke heavenly Jerusalem. A huge 100-foot scaffold reaches high into the vault. Starting here, a team of restorers is cleaning every inch of the cathedral. Much of their work is focused on the stained glass, for which Chart is famous. Over 90% of the original windows survive, more than any other Gothic structure in the world. In a nearby workshop, restorers are bringing these stained glass windows back to life. Head glass conservator Gérard Hermé examines a panel that has just been taken down. On voit tout ça qui est très très noir, très sale. Il va falloir faire un, un nettoyage pièce par pièce, de façon à pas toucher le. With a combination of alcohol and water, they gently clean the glass, a process that can take months or even years for a single window. The restoration reveals the intensity of colour experienced by medieval Christians. The windows take up more than 25,000 square feet of the walls of Chart Cathedral. But these kaleidoscopes of colour are not just symbolic, bringing to mind heavenly Jerusalem. They are also literal. They depict familiar Bible stories like Adam and Eve, Noah's Ark, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And these stories continue in stone on the exterior of the cathedral. Jacqueline Young is an art historian who specializes in the Gothic period. The figures as we see them today uh, present a really misleading impression. Originally, they were all painted, often with very bright colors, vivid blues and reds and greens. We can still see some traces of the pigment on the figure of St. John the Baptist. You can see some green pigment still attached to the dragon that he tramples underfoot and some blue behind his head. The entire front of the church was once covered in vivid color, depicting Jesus surrounded by a full array of Christian iconography. The Virgin Mary, prophets, apostles, and saints. Hundreds of brightly painted sculptures, combined with thousands of square feet of multicolored windows, bring the Bible vividly to life. Together they transform cathedrals into a sermon in glass and stone. <laughs>